In Stolen Sovereignty, my upcoming book, How to Stop Unelected Judges from Transforming, Transforming America, we lay out the case that even liberals should join us in this endeavor of returning the power that was ill-gotten by the courts and return it to the legislature. And the reason is as follows. Some people on the left or on the right might not like everything in the Constitution. There's no such thing as a perfect document and not everything is perfect. But there is a process for amending that. By using the court system to retroactively rewrite the Constitution and rewrite the court's power itself, that means that our future as it relates to every political and societal question hangs by nothing more than the feeling of the legal profession at a given time or that judge who is unelected and cannot be defeated, especially on a federal level, the time he woke up or what side of the bed he woke up on any given day. This is why even liberals should agree that we live in a very polarized society now. It's, it's a 50-50 country, it, almost ir irreconcilable differences between the two sides. But at its core, why are these social issues so acrimonious, the drive wedges between people, the abortion issue, the marriage issue, it's because in other countries they were decided through their parliament, through their elected government. Here all of those issues are being decided through the courts. And that leaves people without any recourse, without any compromise, without any ability to change hearts and minds. This is why we need to shake on it as conservatives and liberals and say, Let's fight this out at the ballot box. Let's fight this out in Congress. Let's strive to change hearts and minds. But we cannot add on to the Constitution and enshrine our agenda into the Constitution. For example, just like we would agree that there is no constitutional requirement to own a firearm. We want everyone to own a gun as a matter of policy, but there is no constitutional requirement to own a gun, a right to have the government issue you a gun. The same way there is no constitutional right at a federal level to force states to issue you a marriage license of any sort, much less a marriage license for something that has never been defined as a marriage until this past decade. So this is why if we want to remain a democratic republic where we agree to disagree, we compromise, we might lose an argument, we might win one day, we want to change hearts and minds, we need to strip the courts of the power that as I lay out in Stolen Sovereignty, our founders never gave the courts in the first place. Congress has the tool, the tool is to reclaim that power. And liberals, if they were intellectually honest about what they believe in terms of democracy and popular sovereignty and following the will of the people, they should join us as well to have these battles in Congress and in state legislatures.